quite make it to Khor San. The wind just died away. So I came downwind and I'm now anchored um, in Barn Pool, which is Mount Edgecombe. Uh, quite popular uh, today with the ferries coming across. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right hand side of the beach that's in front of you because just in that area there it's far less rocky. I have the ropes on deck already and then what we will do is we, as we motor in we'll very carefully deploy the anchor buddy around about eight meters offshore, glide onto the shore, tighten up the anchor buddy uh, and then we'll also make sure that our shore rope is tied off as well to the, um, to the bow and then what should happen, all being well, is that anchor buddy should actually pull the boat back out into the deeper water and then when I want the boat back I should just be able to pour, uh, pull on the shore rope and it should then pull it back in. So with about 8 to 10 metres to go, over goes the small anchor with the buddy attached taking care, of course, not to catch it. I guess next time, perhaps, rowing ashore might be a more crude and environmentally friendly option. Time to pull the anchor wall in, digging in the anchor, and of course, tensioning the anchor buddy. push her off. If I've got this right, she should pull back out. And there we go. She's anchored off quite nicely on the anchor buddy. And there our wind sits, just out of the wave zone. I'm guessing that the anchor buddy seems to stretch up to about 30 feet or so. With our wind riding at anchor, welcome to Barn Pool, a lovely picnic stop in Plymouth Sound, sheltered from the westerly winds and with lovely views out across the Tamar entrance and over towards Drake's Island. The beach is part of the Mount Edgecombe estate in South East Cornwall and it offers lovely coastal walks, stunning views across the sound and a rather nice pub a short walk away at Cremel. get the boat back um, and on the anchor buddy and then we should be able to pull ourselves off Ah. 
bag back in. And we should now be able to get in. Guide ourselves across, all being well. So we'll just gather all that lot up and pop that in there for now. Out of the way. And here comes the anchor buddy itself. stretch on this thing. bad actually. It's taken certainly taken us off enough. Let's bring in the anchor. Well, we managed to raise sails. The anchor buddy worked. Um, it pulled off, pulled us off enough that we could um, raise sails and just sail away off the beach. I rather liked it. Uh, wind has just picked up now to give us a nice uh, reach across the front of Plymouth Sound. What a beautiful afternoon. Isn't that gorgeous? So does the anchor buddy work? It seems to on this test in gentle conditions. Is it better than the method I use of pulling the anchor off the deck with a trip line? I can't really say on this small test. It does certainly save the odd scrape on Arwen's foredeck though. It was a thoughtful present. It's small, easy to store, and whilst the shackle and carabiner will need replacing for better ones, it is worth trying it again on another picnic stop. We'll see how it stands up to prolonged use over next season.